Welcome to Learn Biology and today we're discussing cellular respiration. But before we actually get to it, we must have some background knowledge. So, what is cellular respiration? Well, the exact definition is that cellular respiration is a metabolic process which converts biochemical energy into ATP. So this mouthful is simply saying one thing which is we are trying to use any chemical energy in our body so we are converting whatever we eat so what we eat so eat or food into ATP and as we've discussed ATP is the primary source of energy in cells. So that's what respiration does. It is a metabolic process. Metabolic process means a process of breaking down. So what we're doing is breaking down food to create or convert it into ATP or convert it into energy. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. Now the equation of respiration is kind of interesting the nutrient that we're breaking down is glucose so we're breaking down we'll make a note here breaking down breaking down glucose so that's what we're breaking down so the equation the reactant is going to be glucose and we're breaking down glucose using so using oxygen so that's why we breathe in oxygen and this is not referring only to us it refers to any object which has cells because this is how cells make energy for themselves by breaking down glucose and converting it to ATP so converting this text into words uh, into an equation it would look as so we have a C6 H12O6 which is glucose we're also using 6O2 we're using oxygen and this is going to yield to the products of this are 6 carbon dioxide molecules plus 6 water molecules plus energy so energy energy will be released and if we look at this right here, if we just take a look at this right here, we will notice that this equation right here is reverse of photosynthesis. So respiration is opposite of photosynthesis, meaning the products of photosynthesis are the reactants in respiration and the reactants in photosynthesis are the products in respiration so that is what respiration equation looks like so now we need to discuss that there are two types of cellular respiration we have aerobic and anaerobic now we can look at this and kind of understand what these two types of respirations mean so aerobic aerobic means uses oxygen uses oxygen to con to convert uh, chemical energy biochemical energy into ATP uses oxygen to create ATP anaerobic respiration does not use oxygen so does not use oxygen to create ATP it uses another processes and anaerobic respiration has fermentation in it however we must understand that aerobic respiration creates more ATP so it creates more ATP, some more ATP. 
anaerobic is less so just need to understand that right there what we also need to understand are the conversions of energy in respiration so respiration what happens is that one single glucose molecule so one C6H12O6 molecule yields to 36 ATP so a whole 36 ATP are generated from one glucose molecule but there is something that we also need to understand here is that 36 ATP is the net gain so it is the net gain what net gain means is that after all the debts are cleared meaning after whatever ATP need to be used we have 36 ATP left but in reality one glucose molecule creates 38 ATP however 2 ATP are used up and so we are left with 36 ATP However, we need to understand that 36 ATP is the net, so that is what we have left after using 2 ATP. So thank you for watching Learn Biology, and we will discuss aerobic respiration in depth next time. See you next time.